Day 349. Today the Russians increased the intensity of their attacks around Siversk. Here the Russians are trying to cut through the Ukrainian defense south of Siversk and take the Ukrainians in the pocket. But so far, the challenging terrain and synergistically structured Ukrainian defense have only led to a huge spike in Russian losses. The main direction of the Russian advance is the southern part of the Sivers group. The reason why the Russians are trying to expand their control over the region here is that this is where the Ukrainians have their main supply road. If we look at the topographic map, we can see that this road is located behind the hill. So by establishing control over that hill, the Russians will be able to establish total fire control over the road. But even if the Russians are successful in this regard, there is still one more road behind the next hill. So supplying this group may become more time consuming, but it would still be possible. Nonetheless, the Russians are far from reaching this goal, because over the last two weeks the fights have been taking place in the lowlands. The Ukrainian defense line here goes along the big villages that are conveniently located on the same line. As of now, the Russians established control over two small villages, Mykolaivka and Sakoy Vansetti. Even though Russian sources are saying that the Ukrainian defense line has been breached, if we look closer, we can see that these villages consist of several houses that are also cut off by the river from the main Ukrainian positions. If we zoom out a bit, we can see that the main Ukrainian positions are in big villages, such as Vasyukivka, Fedorivka and Rozdolivka. Advancing towards Fedorivka is difficult because of the natural obstacle in the form of the river. The same river also limits the Russians in their room for maneuvering when attacking Vasyukivka and Rozdolivka. However, the main hardship in attacking the latter lies in the fact that the Ukrainians are controlling the highlands around these villages. If you look at the topographic map, we can see that they have good fire control over all possible axes of the Russian advance. In order to maintain control over these positions, the Ukrainians have developed an extensive system of trenches on the fields that are extremely hard to cross. These systems of trenches are exactly what is holding the Russians off, as they already tried to expand westward of Solodar. That is why the Russians lately started shifting their focus somewhere else, such as Belogorivka and Spirne. Over the last several days, many Russian sources have been reporting that the Ukrainians were surprised by a massive attack on Belogorivka and were forced to leave this village. However, this is not true. First of all, it is impossible to conduct a surprise attack here, as there is plenty of engagement here almost every day. Secondly, the Russians only returned control over the area to the east of the village. And thirdly, today the Ukrainians posted a photo confirming that they are still present in Belohorivka, so no changes happened here. When it comes to Spirne, at first glance it is very surprising that the Ukrainians have been defending this tiny settlement for more than half a year in total, especially given the intensity of Russian attacks. The reason why Spirne is so tough to take lies in the fact that there are a lot of underground tunnels that allow to supply this group and also hold ammunition. If we combine this with the fact that the Ukrainians have also developed a system of trenches and these trenches are located on the local heights, it becomes easy to understand why this area has been holding for such a long time. Right now the setting is less favorable than in summer, because right now the Russians are in control of Barastova. However, so far, all Russian assaults have been fiercely rebuffed. Overall, the situation in Siversk is very stable. The Russians are facing a difficult problem, because they ran into the line of fortifications along the local heights. The Ukrainian defense east of Siversk has been tested time and again, so the highest risk of Russian success is still in the south. So far the Ukrainians are fighting in the lowlands under total cover of their troops on the hills, which are helping to eliminate the attackers already on the approach. In fact, today, the Ukrainian general staff reported that Russian losses finally crossed the threshold of 1,000 killed per day. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.